<laughs> All right, guys. Good boy 32 here. Check it out. Look who I got over here in the Freedom Shack. Just got out of town. First of all, I just want to give a big shout out to all the guys and the Patriots who did the thing out there in uh, D.C. Yesterday was the 2nd of November to 2 a rally. Uh, man, I tell you what, you guys are all my heroes, and it just breaks my heart that I wasn't able to be there, but we had some other things that I had to take care of in personal nature. Next time around, though, we will. And you know what? I don't see why we can't start doing some of this stuff in Charlotte area. Uh, so maybe on a weekend, we get down and we march down the streets of Charlotte. Let's do it. All right, so... Uh, if you guys follow my channel, you may know this gentleman. If you haven't and you're here, well, guys, this is Ray. YouTube channel is X-Ring. First of all, let's just go ahead and say, if you would please go down and subscribe. He is uh, one of the best sources for any information is if it comes to automatic, well, let's just say anything related to firearms and as of late, <laughs> bow and arrow. And I'm uh, just having fun with it. That's well, all. that's what you do. That's it. So anyway, one of the cool things is uh, I actually got a package from Mr. X-Ring, and it is uh, addressed to the man, KB32. The man. Whatever. So anyway, uh, let's go ahead and back up. I know I'm rambling on. And I'm like, ah, yeah, I'm sorry. But anyway, uh, I got one of these guys right here. I just want to also give a real quick shout out to Ethan Manning. Manning and Sons, he sponsors my channel. Uh, he was a huge source for me being able to uh, get this guy right here. This is the Atlas Titan and also Atlas Gunworks. Just, you guys are the bomb. Thank you so much for everything you've done for me. And I cannot wait to run this thing. We're going to be smoking and running it like a dog here in the next upcoming weeks. But one of the things that we can do for an upgrade is called the... Magazine release. Go ahead. All right, so uh, this was kind of an unplanned stop, so he got the package. Uh, you want to go ahead and open it up? I just happened to use my laser finger. Right there. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Let me just do this. I'll open it up with the, uh, what do you call this thing? This is made Ultratech. by... Ultratech. by the... Um, who? Microtech. Microtech, yeah. yeah. Okay, but anyway, I've already opened it up, but uh, Ray was uh, instrumental in uh, me being able to obtain one of these things. Well, you were instrumental in helping get my channel started. Well, whatever. It wasn't for you so, and Rick. And yeah. the crazy idea of doing videos, I wouldn't be here. Well, I still don't know why you're trying to do... You're, you're being sucked into a, an, a, 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 rabbit a, a, a rabbit hole. Okay, so what this is, uh, and I'll let Ray continue this thing, but, but what I want to do is I want to bring you over here onto the table so Ray, the man himself, can show you a little bit more about this because you do... You designed this, yep, and you basically manufactured this. Yeah, basically, uh, Go ahead. what I noticed was in a lot of uh, competition pistols, uh, you are shipped a pistol that you paid three, four, five, six thousand dollars for. Uh, it's common with your STIs and things like that, and it comes with a magazine release with a little hole in it. Um, and that hole is there if you need a magazine release, and it's just so much easier to be able to man manipulate that uh, with a magazine release button. And I went online, I was looking for one, and the options were really limited. A lot of them looked really, really cheap, um, or they just didn't work well just the way my hand was designed or the hand shape. So I came up with a design, and these are actually, I quit doing these in raw, and we'll get a close-up of this in a little bit, uh, but this I make out of 17.4 stainless or titanium. And what I do is I then ship them out and have them DLC coated. So okay. you don't have to worry about Cerakote and it wearing off or anything like that. Uh, I like the design because it's aggressive enough, but not too aggressive. And you don't inadvertently uh, hit it when you're not trying to you know, make changes. That, that makes a good point because uh, one of the first things that I noticed, because I'm used to shooting the Shadow 2, which has an enlarged uh, magazine release on the side. Yep. So one of the things is if you're shooting this in a natural position and you go to do the mag, you actually have to roll it around Correct. to get that thumb to reach. Now, being that you extend that uh, profile out, you don't have to do that. So I, I tell you what, let's do this because I know these guys are really excited about taking a look at this thing. Let's go ahead and rotate the camera back over here on the okay. review table. Uh, we'll get this out of the way. Uh, Atlas Gun Works, thank you so much. These I cannot wait to test these things out. These are the uh, STI mags with the Atlas on the back of them. But you guys are absolutely amazing. All right, guys, so what you're going to notice here on the magazine release is it's already drilled and tapped with a 440 thread pattern. That's kind of your common pattern for them. If you have a 1911 or a 20-style pistol that doesn't have the 440 in there, you can drill and tap this. I actually did that with Is Your Six Covered. He had an Infinity pistol, and he had a, a blank magazine release, and what we did is we just drilled and tapped it and put the 440 thread pattern in there. 
So when you get it, it'll be shipped this way. You guys might recognize that pattern. I actually modeled it after the Microtech uh, screws, and it works really, really well. On the back side here, you'll notice you do not have any DLC coating on the threads itself because this actually goes into an inspection plate when it gets off uh, shipped off for DLC. Uh, what I always recommend doing, and whenever I ship one of these out, uh, all you have to do is just take some uh, brake parts cleaner, and uh, well, you're going to spray that off first, then you're going to take some blue Loctite, just put a little dab on the uh, threads there, and then basically you just want to get this hand tight. All right, there we go. I didn't want to lift it up because I didn't want the camera to refocus. So what you'll have is this profile here. You guys can see that. DLC coated matches the pistol. I do not offer these uh, raw anymore. I had uh, I had raw and I had the DLC black, and no one was uh, ordering the raw color, so that's why we went with that. But it's definitely going to help with magazine changes. Um, just even with my hands, I mean, I can reach over there without having to do this and press it in, and it's nice, quick, and with my grip, I have no issues doing mag changes very quickly. Okay, and it's in that pocket there, so I don't inadvertently hit it. Just makes it nice and fat. Uh, this is a newly modified G-code holster, and it was modified. I don't know if I can get it in there to show you, but right there for the mag release, the existing one. So I may have to make some adjustments, but no. How about that, ladies and gentlemen? She fits right in there. Absolutely incredible. Now, guys, I will tell you something about this G-code holster. I've been running those for a while, and I told John, I said, uh, you just order the 5.0, you got a 5-inch STI holster, and all you have to do is drill out the two rivets that are here, put in a rubber spacer, and then he got these awesome-looking thumb screws here. He said he got them from a local hardware store. And then one important thing is to make sure you bevel out where that mag release is, otherwise you won't administratively be able to reload a mag while it's in the holster. But, yeah, this G-code works. You're never going to lose your pistol. So that's off your mind. Yeah, I tell you what, that's a huge re relief for me. Yeah, look at that. Guys, isn't that beautiful? That's, what a great addition. And if you have a 2011, this is one of the things that I would highly suggest if you don't already have one. So let's uh, let's get on back over here to the, and uh, talk to Ray a little bit more. Stand by. All right, so first of all, I just want to say thanks to Ray for coming by the shop here. And, thanks for having me. And, and doing a personal install on my mag release <laughs> button. I mean, that doesn't happen very often, guys. We didn't put any Loctite on it. So didn't put any Loctite on it, but... Uh, I tell you what, I am excited about using this thing. And again, with anything, it took me a while to learn how to use the uh, the safety on this firearm as a shelf, as well as it's probably going to take me a little bit to learn not to press on that mag release. But I would rather, like I said, I'd rather have that than not have it. But anyway, man, thank you so much. My pleasure. And uh, just real quick, there is a learning curve, just like with anything that you add on the pistol. So it's one of those things. Practice with it before you take it to a match. Otherwise, you might come out of the holster and drop your mag because you're not used to that enlarged mag release. Uh, one other thing, this is not a Microtech product, so don't go online there looking for it. I modeled it after the, the screws, but the only way you can order one is to go to Etsy. Uh, if you go to Etsy.com and then just search up X-Ring Customs, so X-Ring Cust Customs is the name of it, and when you search that, you'll see these in titanium black DLC. That's all we're going to have available um, until I get done with this run here. I do have some 17.4 stainless left, but they're DLC black as well, and they're $34.99, I believe. I do ship them out all over the world. I think I've shipped more to Australia and Canada than anywhere You're else. Kidding. So I guess USPSA and all of that is very popular there, but a big thanks to you guys. Uh, overseas for ordering these, and if you're interested, just go to where I kind of led you, you to. Go to Etsy and uh, X Ring Customs. My dogs are in the background trying to beat the hell out of each other. But again, sir, thank you so much. Thanks and for I'm going to put the link to uh, Ray's YouTube channel down below, X Ring. And like I said, man, uh, a mentor to me, and always a source of huge information because anytime I have a question about reloading or anything else, he's my go to guy. Uh, also, it was the first one that I ever shot, uh, 1,420 yards in a, a full value wind out in Vegas, and it was one was shot, fun. one kill. And guess what? We are also going to get together um, and do some long range shooting where we're going to be setting up a couple different rifles. He didn't know about this yet. But we're going to be utilizing the Kestrel that's tied to the 2800.com, and it's going to be, okay, uh, KB, there's a target at 750 yards. I want you to laze it. I want you to dial it in and shoot it right now.
you got about 10 seconds. And it's going to be a lot of fun, but we're going to get to that in the near future. Probably Sounds a springtime good. project. All right, man. Let's Thank go. you. You got it. Dakota Boy 32, support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women, in uniform 24 7 for our freedoms. Freedom's not free. And thanks to you guys, you patriots who took time out of your day to go up there to D.C. and fight for our rights. I greatly appreciate it. And I know Ray does too. Absolutely. I'm out of here. Y'all be good. Hoo up.